Today I want to explain what is federation. Why do you want to use federation? In modern times you have often teams which are working in different companies or organizations together in one team, but in different IT organizations and IT architectures. And when you want to work together, it's um, helpful when you see are the persons in my team available? How can I reach them? And federation is a standard which enables to work together in different organizations as one team. You can see the present state and you can do direct communication as a telephone call or a video call or chat, application sharing, desktop sharing, as you use it in your own company. How does it work? Normally, um, you dial a telephone number or something like this. And in Federation, you are work with uh, email addresses normally. And when you have H3.3 based systems, um, you can use the email address as you can use it in a SIP architecture. Normally, you use my email address, uh, like ldrichkeit at innovaphone.com. And when you uh, click this in your UC client, then the system asks a DNS server in the internet, um, where is at innovaphone.com? The DNS server gives the request of the, the organization on the other side, and then they will find the right person on the other side. This is a technical picture where I want to explain it. On the left side, you have one organization like Innovaphone, and on the other side, you have another organization. Here we have uh, Innovaphone systems. Normally, we have a SIP trank for, to do voice calls, and now we will create a federation trunk for H3.3 or for SIP, and the other a uh, partner, the other organization has the same solution. And then it's possible to use your C, your UC client, search for the email address of your partner. And when you find it, you can build up teams like favorite teams, or you can do a live telephone call, chat, what, whatever you want. Um, first, you search the email address, the system, the other system will found, uh, will be found via DNS. And then I can say, put it to my favorite in my team. Um, then I can call the person, I can do a chat, and uh, the systems are able to do a direct communication, which might be end-to-end -end encrypted, and it's absolutely secure when you use um, encryption like DTLS. Uh, necessary is that the codecs are supported. We want to use for audio and video support. H3.3 federation is normally used when the systems both use Innova4 systems or other H3.3 based systems. But the most popular standard is ZIP federation. This can be used by even uh, every ZIP based UC system. Then you can use SIP simple for presence exchange and uh, chat via SIP extension for instant messaging. And uh, necessary is to know that both systems have to use the right audio and video codecs that uh, the communication can be established. Okay, what are the advantages for federation? Um, it's absolutely easy to have value add communication, exchange of presence information, chat, video, application sharing, desktop sharing. The connection is for free um, because you don't have a SIP connect with uh, uh, airtime. You have a free connection. Um, it's absolutely possible to um, decide which uh, features does the other one uh, see from me when, when I will be connected via internet. Then I say only if I'm online, on the phone, visible, or my presence. When you are part of Innova phone, then you can see um, my presence note, um, you can see when I have a call, which is the person on the other side. Uh, I give more information for my colleagues than uh, to other persons in the internet. Yes, and we have end-to-end -end encryption, so it's absolutely secure. That's from my side. Thanks and see you. Bye. <laughs>